Matty, three goals for Stockport County, three goals for Matty Warburton. Tell us about tonight. It's a bit of a blur, to be fair, I think. I don't think it's properly sunk in yet. Um, it's a jubilant tra uh, changing room in there, which is which is which is brilliant. It's obviously personal for me. It's it's great to get the goals and and get a win. But for the for the team, we need a performance like that. I think to prove to everyone that what potential this squad's got. It's not about me at all. It's about us getting a three points against top of the league at home. I mean, the crowd will bounce in tonight. I'm not seeing actually part like that for for a while, to be honest with you. But particularly not this season. So I'm hoping that we've installed a lot more belief in terms of. Um, in the group itself, but also from the fans as well. Saturday was tough. It was a hard one to take, albeit it wasn't a loss. Yeah. But it was. It should have been a home banker. It wasn't. Mm. Have we? Have we lifted that tonight? Have we? We, we re-energised Stockport County. I would have thought so after that. Yeah. Particularly Saturday was disappointing. Um, on a personal note, I was, I was particularly poor. I was disappointed in my own performance. Um, and Nuneaton, we should have got the points at home. If I'm being honest, they they came and did a numbers on on us last year. They nicked it one nil. I think it hit the bar and then hit Ben and. And they nicked one late on against us again, and it should have been three points for us. But tonight we proved the potential that we've got in this group. The gaffer said to us before the game, um, it was a really good team talk. To be fair to him, he talked about the potential of this group and it being one of the strongest ones that we've had in, in the last couple of years. And, and looking around the group and, and the talent that we've got in there, there's no reason now why we shouldn't push on. You personally, you're an honest player. You've just spoken quite clearly there. You weren't happy with your own performance. Mm. Tell us how happy you are after tonight. <laughs> um, I don't think I felt this happy after a football match for for a very very long time. To be honest with you, um, I'm glad on a personal note. Um, it's nice to be top goal scorer again. If I'm being honest, um, taking over the mantle from Jason, who's actually just texted me. To be fair, but um, no, I'm, I'm delighted. I'm delighted for more for the lads. To be fair. Um, it was a difficult one tonight. Chorley are always going to be tough. If I'm being honest, I don't really like playing against Chorley. They, they, they minimise the space that you get. They're very compact. They play to their system and they're good at it. But we'll be better tonight. If County can do that against top of the league Chorley, can they do it against anybody? Why not? Curzon on Saturday? Well, we should do. Um, we, we should turn up with the same level of intensity, the same level of professionalism that we showed tonight. Um, Curzon is always a tough place to go. It's, I mean, it's my old... My old, uh, my old club, so I'm looking forward to going back and seeing a few familiar faces, but that'll make it really difficult for us. I'm sure we'll have a big backing um, by the county fans, but there's no reason why we can't take tonight in, into uh, into Saturday. Just finally, I can see you've got the match ball over there. You mentioned the dressing room, uh, the dressing room was jubilant. Yep. Just tell us what, what was it like in there? Well, I'm the DJ, so uh, <laughs> if we win, it's share, believe. Um, that's the go-to um, this season, so I'm always on. So the gaffer spoke after the game again, Lads buzzing after that, and then the music comes on, and I won't tell you what some of the boys get up to, but it, it was a it was a delighted change room in there, and uh, now everyone's going to come away from Edgeley Park happy tonight. Congratulations! Thanks man. very much. Cheers.